Good morning, it's Delusion Dispeller. Welcome to Letting Go in 2019. Yes, I realize my face is not on here, but I thought I'd try something different. Maybe give you a little bit of a serene and peaceful scenery to look at while I read. Instead of just my face, it's not all about me. It's about the message, after all. So I thought I'd do something a little different. And today's reading is from Letting Go in 2019. A book written by Melody Beattie, copyright 1990, and it is Commitment. As we walk through life, there are many things and people we may lose or lose out on if we're unwilling to commit. We need to make a commitment for relationships to grow beyond the dating stage, to have the home or apartment we want, the job we want, or the car we desire. We must commit on deep levels to careers, to goals to family, friends, recovery. Trying something will not enable us to succeed. Committing ourselves will. Yet we need never commit before we are ready. Sometimes our fear of commitment is telling us something. We may not want to commit to a particular relationship, purchase, or career. Other times it is a matter of our fears working their way out. Wait, then wait until the issue becomes clear trust yourself ask god to remove your fear of commitment ask god to remove your blocks to commitment ask god for guidance ask yourself if you're willing to lose what you will not commit to then listen quietly and wait until a decision seems consistently right and comfortable we need to be able to commit, but we need never commit until we are ready. Trust that you will commit when you want to. God, guide me in making my commitments. Give me the courage to make those that are right for me, the wisdom to not commit to that which does not feel right, and the patience to wait until I know. I think this is a really good reading today. A lot of times we don't commit and we wonder why we don't have what we need or what we want. Other times we commit to the wrong things and we get hurt. It's important to wait on God, listen for that still small voice inside to tell you which way to go and tell you what to do. If you don't know him today, I pray for you to know him in a way that seems understandable to you because he'll come to you in ways that you understand in unique ways. He made you uniquely. You are not the same as everybody else. He knows what you need to hear and see to believe in him. So just ask him today, God, make yourself real to me. Show yourself to me in a way I understand, a way that seems right to me, a way that feels comfortable to me, and he will. So today, don't fear commitments. Just wait and pray and listen and stop and think and then move only when you're sure that that is the direction he's moving you in. Thanks for watching today. We'll see you tomorrow on Letting Go in 2019. God bless you.